Hello everybody. Regularly blood transfusion is very important for the patient with thalassemia or sickle cell. Yesterday I went to the blood bank and I got a chance to talk with the employee there. I asked her some questions. But first I would like to say how beautiful dealings with the donors there. This thing caught my attention. She explained that whenever he was feeling better, flow more, and he drinks a lot of drinks after the donation to be sure avoiding painting after work. I asked her how long does it take. She said 5 to 20 minutes only, but an hour for the whole process. Like relaxing and checking if he can donate because don't they don't want to harm the donor, so the age restriction is required. He or she should be 17 or older, and they check the weight and height according to the sex, female or male. Also, they, can, they calculate a blood volume and the blood pressure. She added, the process is not finishing here. There are many tests on that blood to, to see if there are any infection, malaria, or sexual disease, to not harm the recipients too. I asked her how many times can, be don can the donor donate. She said if he is a healthy person six times per year. I was surprised when she told me she donated for 75 times. She added it's a personal choice. I asked her if the donation's feeling was good. She said it's so emotional. To give a life to a person you don't know anything about him or her. I want to tell you about another treatment is available for patients with thalassemia. It is bone marrow transplantation. In the bone marrow there is stem cells. The simple way to collect these cells is collecting umbilical cord blood. So what is umbilical cord blood? After a baby is delivered, the blood remaining in the umbilical cord of blood and placenta is called cord blood. This blood is discarded with the placenta as biological waste. However, scientists have recently discovered that it is very rich in a special type of cells called stem cells. What are stem cells? Stem cells are immune, immature cells that can divide and renew with an unlimited capacity. Every day they produce billions of red blood cells, white blood, blood cells, which are essential for our health. How is cord blood collected and stored? Following the delivery of your baby, your doctor or midwife can easily collect the umbilical cord blood without risk or pain to yourself or the infant. So, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Cord blood can only be collected at birth. More importantly, cord blood stem cells from a family member are better for transplant to a patient than stem cells from an unrelated donor. So you have two options, whether you want to save it for your family or donation. A donation is completely voluntary, no fees are charged to the parents and saving thousands of lives. Uh, you can visit Victoria Angel website for more information. Thank you.